Uh, the purpose of today's video is to review this article from from here, from this link, uh, and to see if there are uh, 20 must-have gardening tools every gardener must need, um, kind of lines up with my experience uh, with doing gardening and landscaping work. And I'll try to kind of fill in additional information as we go through the list. Um, first thing, gloves. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you need gloves for everything that you do with labor work. Gloves, way to go. These look like good gloves. That's it. Uh, when you're using, when you're dealing with roses, to get something thick, get something thicker so that you don't prickle yourself. Um, shovels or spades. I don't really use like little tiny sh spades uh, anymore. Um, but yeah, I used to. Uh, these I used to use these for weeds, but they're not really they're not really the way to go. Um, never used this weeding thing. So I've used a weeding fork a lot. Um, basically something like this one, uh, the one the one on the left, has been super helpful for me. Uh, for small, uh, you know, for pulling small weeds in between, uh, like next to flowers and stuff. Uh, yeah, something like that is fine. Uh, this this is basically uh, the one that I've used a lot of and that helped me, has helped me a lot of my work. Um, garden hoe. When a weeding fork won't do, yeah, garden hoe is just, it, these are great. Super, super useful uh, things for weeding. Uh, a lot of the time you can just scrape the top off of a surface and... Um, don't worry about go, like trying to remove weeds by their roots because you're not going to get them out by the root anyways, and a lot of them are annuals, so getting it out by the root won't do anything. This is a super useful, handy tool. Um, I know there's one thing that's not on this list right now, so I'm just going to note it, note it right now. It's an N95 mask. The stuff that like we're having in short supply because of the pandemic. These things uh, are sold at Home Depots and Canadian Tires. Uh, but they might be sold as part of a package with like you know um, earplugs and uh, goggles. Worth worthwhile investment. I know it says it's like a one or two time use thing, but really you can use them forever. Um, as it should just say NIOSH approved on the mask N95, and then you're good to go. This prevents a lot of dust from coming in. Uh, these ones are being sold. Uh, to uh, for landscaping uh, for for construction work because these are not uh, like rated for the pandemic because you can still breathe out contaminated air but for the purposes of uh, preventing dust from getting in your mouth uh, this is or nose this is great um, soil knife never really use these things can't speak to them good pair of pruning shears is invaluable if you go to a home depot just buy the most expensive pruning shears that you can find i mean they, they really shouldn't go anything that's so go but anything that's like 30 40 bucks you're in a good you're in a good place um basically you just don't want the ones that are cheap garbage that are designed to fail after a couple of uses um good pair of pruning shears i never i never even i never sharpen mine but good pair of pruning shears can last you um, 30, 40, 50, 100 jobs, whatever. They're just, they're, they're solid. Um, never really use garden scissors. Never found the need to. Uh, watering hose, yeah. You need water to grow stuff. Um, you need water to install polymeric sand, as one might find in a paving stone walkway. You need water to wash surfaces. Yeah, if you're going to do gardening or landscaping, you have to have a water supply. Uh, spading fork, uh, same thing as a weeding fork. I mean, it's different, but again, I, I haven't used that myself. Uh, rakes, uh, the one on the left is a bow rake. Um, they look, well, I mean, they look like this. They're just like they. It's a it's a flat rake with just uh, uh, these are called tines poking out of it like this. Really, really helpful for taking off like loose grass. For cleaning up areas, for leveling, super useful tool. Uh, leaf rakes, honestly, uh, not that great because, like, if you're co if you're collecting leaves, you might as well get some dead dead grass out and some dead uh, soil out. 
not dead soil. You should get some weeds and dead grass and uh, top top gunk out with a bow rake. It's gonna be it's gonna be slower than just doing leaf collection in the fall, but you're going to it's gonna be better for your for your lawn for your landscape to do a slower, more thorough job for bow rake. Uh, these three are basically the same thing, and this is I have never used it really. I don't I'm not even sure what that is. Uh, hedge or lawn shears totally useless. Don't even invest. Um, basically, if you want to cut a hedge, you get an electric, uh, you get an electric or gas-powered uh, hedge trimmer. That's going to have. Um, so let's see, hedge trimmer. It's just it's gonna ha it's gonna have these, and don't buy anything from Yardworks. Save yourself the pain because as soon as my Yardworks hedge trimmer got jammed. That's it. If you want, you can't you can't take it apart yourself. You have to call the manufacturer to get it replaced, and then good luck finding the receipt and dealing with all that crap. You want a tool that you can basically take apart and put it back together if it jams. And the hedge trimmers are great because instead of doing this dumbass work of like snip, 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 snip from garden shears, you can just bzzz with a hedge trimmer and you're good to go. And with a powerful one, you can get through thicker branches, thicker hedges. Uh, really good investment to to get a hedge trimmer. And then you can you can do like these nice little like smooth uh, smooth hedges that you otherwise really wouldn't be able to do with shears. So yeah, go go ahead and throw these out into the garbage can. Uh, pruning saw, yeah. Uh, th this is useful for wherever your, um, you know, your little scissors, your shears. Where, where the branch is too thick for these guys, like beyond, and, I mean, you, you can get pretty, you can get pretty large branches with these, but when it's like a three inch diameter branch and you can't get them with those, yeah, this thing is super handy. Not dangerous at all. Not worthwhile investing in a chainsaw just to get like little uh, pieces of wood like that. Um, this takes a minute, uh, and they 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 don't even you don't even sharpen them. I've never I there are saws I have I've used never sharpened and like just tens and dozens and hundred like hundred not hundreds of uses but dozens of uses without any issue. Uh, wheelbarrow really, yeah, it'll save you a lot of time doing anything. Um, if you don't have a wheelbarrow, you're lugging stuff around in buckets or by the bag or whatever. Uh, real useful thing to have. Very satisfying to just dump it into a garden bed or wherever. Mm, hand fork, I don't really, I, I think this is more for vegetable gardening. Which, by the way, if you get into landscaping, uh, no one's gonna be asking you to do vegetable gardens. People just uh, want you to um, you know, put some perennials in, that's it. Rarely do people have vegetable gardens that they take care of, or they want their gardener to help them take care of it, oh, but there are, there are. Uh, lawnmower, don't, don't buy a push mower, I know they're cheaper, and you think they're better for the environment, or whatever you want to say, but they're useless, they're, it's just, it's just junk. When, when you need a lawnmower to be able to, um, level the area, level your grass to whatever height you set it at. Maybe push mowers you can you can adjust the height. I haven't really played around with these too much, but I don't know, the grass if the grass is a little bit wet, you're just you're doing nothing to it. Um the blades here are just gonna do the trick better. I I have an electric mower. Uh gas is definitely better because gas mowers you don't have to drag around a piece of cord and like almost like trip over it or have the cord like something that I deal with all the time when you have an electric mower, your cord's always popping out. Pop, 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 pop. Um But you know, that's worth the pain of saving a couple hundred bucks when a a new gas mower can be like three, four hundred dollars. Um uh, so yeah, probably gas is the way to go, but I make do with electric. Uh, hand trowel again, same as above. I don't really use it. Edger, yeah, these are this, this is a handy tool. An edger or a spade. So, a garden spade uh, is one of these guys. These are good um, for like especially for breaking into like just soft like normal soil that that you would have in a lawn. A spade is good. An edger is the same thing. I think it's the same thing, honestly. 
Uh, I've used edgers quite a bit. They're good. I think you can use a spade for the same purpose, just to cut garden beds and uh, create like little designs. Uh, watering can, sure, why not? Uh, leaf blower, yeah, I have. I've used the backpack ones like this. This guy's using, and you do need to ha you do need like the ear protection. It's not too expensive. I think it's like twenty dollars for these. And these these are, by the way, for the ear protection. This this person is wearing. Um, oh, Jesus, whoops! This person is wearing. I don't know. I had to zoom in. That was dumb. This person is wearing little little earmuffs. Um, get those. Don't get the plugs. You can get like you can get a lot of plugs for uh, the same amount of cost that you get muffs for. But why do you need dirty and clean plugs just laying around? Just get one good pair of these, and your your, your hearing will be protected. Um, and in terms of leaf blowers, yeah, electric is fine. Um, uh, gas is apparently more powerful, but the gas-powered ones with the backpack, it's it's hard to maneuver it, and so you don't even get the you don't get the maneuverability that you would with, with an electric one, um, and they won't really pop out because you can just they won't pop out like the lawnmower ones do. Um, quick word of advice: don't buy anything battery powered. None of these tools that you buy should be battery powered because batteries die within 30 or 45 minutes and then they charge for a day or they charge for six hours. <laughs> and that is not something you don't want to be like if if you have half an hour of work at your property and you and you just charge it and go fine. But if you're doing this kind of work, you need a tool that's going to last you for eight hours. You don't want to be going back, back and forth and switching between six different batteries. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's that pretty much does it for landscaping tools. Um, a lot of good stuff here. Signing out. Oh, before I sign out, like and subscribe to the damn channel. Do it for more content in the future. Thanks for listening.